Welcome to the first edition of Louisiana Travel Show. We'll be bringing you people and places all over Louisiana that draw tourists from all over the world. I'm Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser, and today we're going to first talk about recovery. Volunteer Louisiana is under our office, and with me today is Judge Johnson, who runs that department and helps people recover after the storm. Good evening. Thank you for having me. Well, tell us about the recovery and how it's going and exactly what your office does to help people recover after the storm. Sure. We're, we're the State Service Commission under, under the Office of Lieutenant Governor, and so we do three primary things. We help manage AmeriCorps programs. So we've got 16 AmeriCorps programs that engage about 900 people in service every year. We help to promote volunteerism, and then we're charged in the state's emergency operations plan with helping to coordinate unaffiliated volunteers and unsolicited donations. So in the wake of Hurricane Ida, we've obviously been very busy on both of those fronts. Right, and now, Laura, you're still over in that area helping people through all these volunteer groups, so it's kind of spread you thin, but luckily you've had a lot of volunteer groups sign up to help. Tell us a little bit how those people get help in those communities along the coast and far inland for this storm, because this storm hit such a wide area, it really spread those resources out and made it a little more difficult to get into all the hard-hit areas. Uh, absolutely. We encourage people to go to volunteerlouisiana.gov. There they can sign up to be a volunteer and also learn about donation opportunities. So we had about 2,000 people that signed up for Hurricane Ida and we connected them with volunteer opportunities with 30 different organizations. Feeding organizations such as Operation Barbecue and Mercy Chefs, distribution centers that were getting goods out to families. A lot of those were with small local churches and, and local community groups. Uh, and then some of the housing work with organizations such as Operation Blessing or Samaritan's Purse. We channeled those volunteers into those organizations uh, to get that work done. Uh, we utilize crisis cleanup for case work. Uh, people um, call crisis cleanup to let them know what the needs are. We had about 14,500 cases in wow. that system. 8,300 of those have been closed out with 6,200 still remaining. So there's a lot of work still to be done, and we know that the recovery process is going to take weeks, months, and even years. You know, the thing that really excites me, and you've done such a great job expanding Volunteer Louisiana over the last several years, and we hope to, with so many crises hitting our coast, uh, the floods in 2016, back-to-back -back hurricanes, uh, the need is greater than ever. So hopefully we're going to continue to expand, as you've done a great job doing. The thing I like most about Volunteer Louisiana your teams are on the ground until the last person is back in their home. So when the cameras go away, I know firsthand right now Katrina, and as the cameras left, people felt, you know, they feel forgotten. Uh, but to see those volunteers showing up time and time again to help people until everyone's back in their home uh, is a special thing in Louisiana. Those volunteers give of their time uh, to go out and help their neighbors, and uh, it's a boost for those local communities that feel forgotten after the TV cameras going away. Well, absolutely, and you mentioned Lake Charles and Hurricane Laura. Um, we helped through to channel volunteers and to clear out 7,000 cases in crisis cleanup, um, and we were able to grant out $100,000 to organizations on the ground doing the work, getting the people back in their homes, like you mentioned, long after the cameras left. Um, so whether it was distribution centers with uh, United Way of, of Southwest Louisiana or groups like Nahama, um, that helped put 77 people, 77 families back in their homes. Uh, we were there and continue to be there in the Lake Charles area as well. And we know with more and more storms being str becoming stronger, we're going to have to do even more. So uh, if you'd like to help, you can go to volunteerlouisiana.gov and sign up to help, make a donation. Uh, and in times when there is no storm, uh, you go out and help seniors build wheelchair ramps, paint homes. So this, these projects go on year round as well. Uh, it seems like we're always coming out of a crisis, but when we're not, your teams are going all over the state helping people in normal times. Uh, absolutely, and you know, you, people can volunteer themselves, and they can also nominate volunteers. We have our Champions of Service nominations open. If you know an outstanding volunteer, you can go to volunteerlouisiana.gov and nominate them for the great work that they've done. Well, Judd, thank you so much for the work and your team does. It really is a lift when you're out there struggling to get back in your home to see people show up and help. So thank you for being with us today. Thank you. We'll be right back. 